<laughs> Hello, this is Dan and Lindsay for Oaks Family Homestead. It is a beautiful day in Oklahoma today. Negative four degrees outside. We have 10 inches of snow on the ground. I think you should say it's negative four, but it feels like negative 24. It does. I mean, that counts. It feels just like that. <laughs> I was out in it this morning. Why was I out in it this morning? Well, I went to the bathroom first thing this morning. It was obviously it's cold, so the water running in our um, faucets last night. And mm -hmm. I walked in there and there was no water running. So I kind of freaked out a little <sighs> bit, walked around the rest of the house, turned on the rest of the faucets. Um, and then a little bit of water started running again. I'm like, oh, thank you so much. Everything seems to be okay. And then it stopped. Yeah. So whatever was left in the line just emptied. Somewhere along the way, we have frozenness major frozenness frozenness to the extreme so of course i i dudded up walked outside trying to figure out what was going on armed with a hair dryer an extension cord and a whole lot of clothes and i'm sure it reminded you of our rv days i did we used to <clears throat> i used to walk outside with the hair dryer and unfreeze the water line frequently it was pretty frequent so yeah well we got rid of that pretty fast but now, now this is a big Something different. <laughs> anyway, so I started down at the source, down at the well house. <laughs> and when I walked in there, um, looked at the, um, all the different lines and stuff, I saw that we do have a crack in one of the lines, um, but there was no water coming out of it. There was no water frozen on the, the ground like it had cracked, sprayed, and then froze itself. It was frozen beforehand, probably burst through the pipe at some point during the night. Um, I tried to thaw it out, hair dryer, just to see, obviously, um, turned off the shutoff valve. That was frozen too, so I warmed up the shutoff valve. It worked, so I turned it off, and then I was trying to thaw out the rest of the lines all the way up to the point where it split. And I can't get it done. Um, whether my hair dryer is underpowered or whatever, Lindsay. I guess I need a new high-powered hair dryer. I don't, I don't want one of those things that are like, you know, a <laughs> three by three foot, you know, box with a huge heating element and a uh, air pushing through it that would dry your hair in like two seconds probably would save power too you only have to... i'd have a lot Done. of wow you just oh. i would have Sorry, a lot guys. of volume <clears throat> yeah and be, probably no hair left it'd be a lot of volume so right? that would be fun anyway so that's <laughs> uh not what i have so i've been I was trying to do it i was out for two hours this morning trying to thaw out the, the lines i came in after an hour and i was cold so Lindsay warmed me up with a cup of coffee. And, and a heated blanket. Well, that was the second time. Oh, okay. That was very nice of her to do that, for sure. Um, <laughs> it was all ready for me when I came inside. Uh, so the second time I tried to do it again, I brought out a little heater, a little space heater, to try and just keep it, you know, above freezing out there anyway, to where the lines would eventually thaw. Uh, I don't think it's doing a whole lot of good, because the door was open, there's an extension cord in there, because <laughs> it's blowing cold air in there. Um, the door would fling open when a big gust came through because mm. the extension was blocking the door from shutting all the way. And um, you maybe latch it, figure out a way to not, latch it. Not with the cord through the door because that's what I have to do to use the hair dryer and that little heater. Well, I know, but like a latch, well, like an extension cord or something, not an like extension cord, like a bungee cord that latches on the door and then we can put something on the outside that way or in the pull inside. Pull it closed, yeah. Yeah, just to pull it closed that way it still won't fling open. Yeah. That, I mean, after the fact, who wants to do that in negative 24 degrees? But I'm trying to be a problem solver. You are. Yeah. I am MacGyver. Not really. I need a, some chewing gum and a paper clip, apparently. <laughs> chewing gum and paper clip. Okay. All right. Yeah, so I started working on that as much as I possibly could, and I, I can't get it done. So I don't know what the deal is, whether it's frozen somewhere else or whether I just, the hair dryer is not warm enough to thaw out those lines. Because there's quite a few. We have a water softener in there. The lines run from the well pump to the water softener, all the way back down to the uh, lines that go toward the house. So somewhere along those lines, it's frozen solid. It is cracked and split about a four inch crack mm -hmm. across a coupling through the actual main line. Um, so we got that going for us. Um, that will definitely <laughs> need to be replaced. Uh, that's not, in a, not a hard job. It's just a matter of finding a place that's open right now because it is um, there's just snow outside I will have to run to the store and get the stuff to fix that <laughs> um, anyway so that's what I've been doing and so far no 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 luck um, no. I, I said to Lindsay uh, I might have to call a plumber 
We're gonna reassess that, see what our options are. This is for making fun of plumbers and how much they charge. I've never made fun of plumbers. I think the plumbers are awesome. We I would never that, want to be one. But then we said we didn't want to pay for one. I didn't want and to pay then for look, one. Here we are. I don't want to pay for one right now because I still don't want to pay for one. If I was a plumber and someone called me and like, hey, I have no water in my house, come out and fix it in the snow, I'd be like, oh yeah, buddy, I'll come out and I'll also charge you for the snow. Well, a lot of plumbers will have a flat rate for unfreezing <laughs> pipes, so that's what I've noticed oh, okay. when I look to plumbers. I would so. not be a very successful plumber. <laughs> Like it's a hundred degrees, I'm not coming out. I'm sorry. Let's have air conditioner. I think you would you would do very well for the short term. You have to stop your business and start a new one every couple of months after people stop calling you. I have to rebrand every single time. Rebrand. Plumbers right. that don't stink. <laughs> Actually, it's a good name. Plumbers that don't stink. I would call them. I mean, do they not stink physically? I hope not. But they don't stink in all the other ways that I don't know. people stink, stink in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. I need more anyway. coffee. Yeah, so... <laughs> not I, having water... I'm trying not to stress out. I'm trying to... Yeah, there's... <laughs> we have water at the well pump. I can fill up water pitchers and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just on the opposite side of the pump. Um, it's just after that. So it's frozen the outlet to the house. Um, so I my goal definitely is to keep that line free. And mm -hmm. it's not that difficult to do, do so because um, it's, you know, a one-foot section of pipe. So... That being said, um, I have that little heater, space heater in there. It'll probably keep it near or above freezing um, instead of negative <coughs> three or five or whatever it is out there. Yeah. And uh, that will allow the water not to, you know, burst that side of the line. But the other side's what our mm. concern is at this point. What are we going to do? I don't know. We'll see. I don't know either. We'll see. Yeah. I gotta get our boys starting in school too. Yeah. So I called in at work and uh, I don't know what I'll be doing. Maybe I'll go outside and just start trying to thaw out lines all day long. Just bash with a rock. No. I'd rather not. But I do at some point, regardless That's of what happens. That's an inside joke. I don't yeah, like, she's like, bash with a rock. rock. She's stupid. No, we. we it was an inside it's an This one person told us to do that <laughs> to a, um, a door. Like there was a, a, a yeah, there is a like a yeah. um, a gas powered strut door that automatically closes, and I was trying to get it to work and it wouldn't wouldn't line up right. And his advice was, bash it with a rock. Bash it with a rock. He's a very I was nice like, person. He was there helping yeah, us. He, he was didn't even have to very do nice that. person. Except for he wanted to bash it with. A I rock. didn't want to bash it with rock. <laughs> it didn't need it, and I got it fixed without bashing it with a rock. <sighs> But, we, so we've said that for like how many years now, every time, like, bash with a rock. Yeah, it's been a good six years of uh, so, inside joke. He had no idea that he made that implant. Implant? Sure. Implant. He implanted that to he us. Im I don't feel like that's the right word. He, n whatever. Okay, let's move on. I need more coffee. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm going to go back outside and um, continue fighting with the lines. Um, uh, Lord willing, then we get it done. Um, if not, we'll just... See what we can do. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can keep filling up water jugs and being like old school, carrying water from the creek up to the I house. I do feel a little, a little house on the prairie type right at this moment. Yeah. I need to get out of my big old dress. I was thinking John Boy. John Boy, go get some water out of the whale house and they bring it up. They have water in their house, they, they? Did they? I don't know. I think you maybe need to rewatch your Waltons. I might. I think okay. you do. Yeah, or not. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna get back at it. Lindsay, I love you. Look at my hair. Your hair's awesome. Mm. Oh, it reminds me of the 80s. Except for reverse, not in the front, it's all in the back. Look at it. <laughs> this is good times right tall. here. Look at how tall that is. Yeah, all oh, that was in the spade. I was like, yeah. All this hairspray. Oh, come on, get up there. That looks good. Let's right. just keep it that way. All, all right. right, here we go. Talk to you later. So, my husband just went back outside to look in the well house to kind of figure out what else he can do. <sighs> you know, I would just say, hey, we can hold out until, you know, it gets warm. The thing is, we're not really supposed to have snow today, but we are supposed to have more snow tomorrow and Wednesday. <sighs> yeah, so 
But since I was trying to figure out what he can do, I'm going to go ahead and get the boys started with school and clean up a little bit. I'm going to clean up a little bit and then do our devotion and then they're going to get ready and do school. So that's what we're doing inside while my husband is outside freezing. Yeah, anyway. Well, here I am. Um, buttoned up for sure. Um, headlamps on. I'm freezing. We're outside the well house right now. Here it is. I'm gonna go take you in there with me. Sorry about the noise. We got a hair dryer going down there. I'm trying to. Where are we at here? There it is. I'm trying to warm up this hose over here so we can fill up some water bottles outside. That's where we're at right now. It's cold in here. There's a little heater going. All right, I'll show you the crack. All right, it is 8.33, and we just got done with our devotions. The boys are about ready to start school. They're asking for water. <laughs> I will get them some in just a minute, but I am also gonna start making breakfast for my husband, who's been outside for quite a while. So I'm gonna get breakfast done for him and my youngest one has not had breakfast yet. My oldest one has. So I'm just going to get some things cooked up and hopefully he'll be in soon with good news. We'll see. All right, here later in the day, um, I had to do a little bit of work. So I did that, logged in and got that taken care of. Uh, now we're out, we're making a run into town to go look for some plumbing parts. I have to get um, some one inch PVC and a couple of um, elbows. I just got done shoveling the driveway, so it should be um, fun to get out of here. Um, yeah. Should be a big, a big issue. We got four wheel drive. We'll see how well our tires are doing. <laughs> All right. Anything else? No. We're going to Walmart. It's been fun. We need water. Yeah, we need water. Yeah. Oh my, that's supposed to be a ditch. <laughs> Me. How tall is that? Probably about 12 feet. All right. All right, so update, it's the afternoon now. We went and got some um, parts from where we need to get stuff from Home Depot, Lowe's, Lowe's. yeah, and nice. they had no heaters anywhere, so the odds of us <laughs> thawing out our pipes are very slim at this point. Mm -hmm. We have a couple ideas we're gonna give a try. Um, I'm gonna try to replace the pipes that are busted anyway. Do that. What if it just cracks again? Well, it only cracks if it's full of water and then it expands because it freezes. There's no water in it, it's cracking. Okay. Well, so anyway, <laughs> um, th that's that's kind of the plan. Um, where we are. Without water, trying to get snow for melting snow for flushing toilets, and we did go in in stuff at Walmart and got some uh, bottles of water for drinking as well. Drinking, but yeah. We got paper plates and forks yeah. and knives. Well, no, we get knives, but yeah. all that stuff because I can't do dishes really right, right now. I'm not gonna use this so the snow to do dishes because the snow is actually really dirty. Like I melted some down in our pan, and there's like tons of little black. So Particulates. I'll bet you it's like stuff from like the oak trees and stuff like that blowing off and blowing the ground and moving all over. But it's ever it's like it's pretty oh, okay. Yeah. But it's pretty bad. So I'm not gonna use that to obviously wash our dishes with. I'm mean, we're just gonna use it to like flush toilets. Yeah. So that's where we're at. Um looks like about a week <sighs> ahead of us before it warms up enough to thaw out pipes. If uh, what I am trying doesn't work, so uh, it'll be a really rough week. It might be a really rough week. Rough? rough. Okay, rough? Huh? Okay. <laughs> 
Anyway, all right. Well, check back with you later. Yep, I'm gonna go back to stress cleaning. Sounds good. I'm gonna go back to stress walking around in circles, thinking I could do something, but actually not being able to do anything. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Look, get you, show you in here. There's the crack right there. Oops. Let's see if I can get the light in here. Better lighting. Okay, here we go. There it is. It's this. Um, pipe right here, this coupling, it goes up into this little T-junction, if I can get a better shot here. Um, kind of hard to shoot that. There we go, right through there, see? All right, so those are the three parts we need to replace. I have our little heater in here, keeping the temperature we're uh, close to about 25 degrees instead of 5, so uh, that will help in the future once I get this thing corrected. But uh, that's where we're at now. We'll even get this thing replaced tomorrow.